Why banning plastic straws is not the answer for solving our global plastics problem. Do I just hate sea turtles? Are they just the worst? Do I want straws stuck up their noses? Or are there other psychological effects of banning plastic straws and other things that we can do to make even a bigger impact? Stay tuned and watch to the end of this video because I'm gonna go through my thoughts on this issue and how it affects you guys. I'm an environmental scientist who makes videos on environmental activism and wildlife biology. So subscribe to my channel below, click the little bell if you wanna see more videos like this. Plastic straws. Many companies have applauded the plastic straw ban as a positive move that is going to change attitudes towards our plastic waste. But does it? Is this just another form of greenwashing? Companies all over the world and state governments are banning plastic straws. Well, the plastic straw is being phased out at Starbucks. You want to talk priorities? Well, California is plagued by rampant homelessness, drug use and human waste that's spreading disease everywhere. Here's what matters to their leaders. Straws, yeah, plastic drinking straws. Places like Hyatt Hotels, American Airlines, and Disney are slowly banning or phasing out plastic straws in their business. So why plastic straws? Where did this all come about? So we didn't suddenly wake up with a bunch of plastic waste. This has been a problem that's been accumulating over years and years, but it's really coming to light recently because of two different things. One of those being that in January of 2018, I believe, China has now said that they aren't gonna be taking our recyclable plastics anymore and they don't wanna act as the world world's landfill. So now suddenly we have all this plastic waste that we can't even recycle. So it's just building up until we can find the facilities or a country that's able to recycle it. Another thing too, causing plastic straws to rise to the top of uh, environmental conservation right now is a video that's recently been released of a sea turtle getting a plastic straw stuck up its nose. This is a really sad video. I'm not even going to show it on this channel or on this video because it honestly makes me want to cry. This has kind of caused the plastic straw to come to the top as the symbol of environmental destruction and the impact that we are having on the animals around us. So this is why I don't agree with a plastic straw ban. No, it's not because I hate sea turtles. I actually love them. But how much does a plastic straw really contribute to the growing issue that we have with plastics? Honestly, the research is showing not that much. So while plastic straws are about 7% of the waste that's been found along California's coastline, which sounds like a lot, like 7% is a lot by item of waste. If we're taking aggregate plastics by weight and looking at that figure, plastic straws only represent 0.03% of the plastic that's found along the coastlines. Straws and stirrers really uh, do not make up that much. Look For some comparison, plastic bags are at 9% of the total items on California's coastline and plastic bottle caps make up 17%. We have to remember that straws really are not a big problem. The reason why plastic straws are so often seen is that plastic straws are buoyant and light. So they rise to the top of the ocean. You're just seeing plastic straws everywhere because those are kind of at the top. So it seems like there's so much more of them than the other plastic waste we're seeing. Half of the plastic that's found in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which if you're not familiar with that, it's this giant patch of plastic found out in the Pacific. Half of that waste is fishing lines. Why is no one saying stop eating fish? to help reduce the garbage patch. When you really look at things, it's a much more complex answer than just banning plastic straws and being on with your day. They make up a very small percentage of the actual plastic waste that we're finding in the garbage patch and along coastlines. What I think is this whole plastic straw movement is a form of greenwashing. Greenwashing is a type of marketing that companies put out in order to make it look like their products are environmentally friendly. Turning plastic bags green to make them seem more natural. Oil and gas companies are especially bad at this practice. They tend to put out a lot of commercials that show a bunch of happy animals and trying to make people forget that there was a bunch of oil spills that killed many animals. For example, Starbucks introduced the alternative to plastic straws as plastic cups with a plastic lid in order to make it seem more environmentally friendly and not have that straw in them. This is the new cup that uh, St uh, Starbucks is bringing in. It's uh looks like a giant sippy cup, really. After you finish your drink, it'll go into the compost. Biodegradable plastics and biodegradable or compostable material are most of the times not properly disposed of. They usually have to be industrially 
compost it. But the reality is, is this type of product doesn't solve our issue. It doesn't get rid of the plastics. It just causes more plastic. This represents a problem. A lot of people are thinking they're doing so much to help the environment by saying no to a plastic straw, but then buying plastic Starbucks cups and then patting themselves on the back. I definitely appreciate that it's a symbolic gesture to say no to a plastic straw and that it is the first step in saying no to even more disposable plastics. It's not the complete solution and it's definitely not something that you can just say no to the plastic straw and then be good for the rest of your life. You really need to go deeper and look at where those plastic products that you're using are coming from and trying to eliminate the bulk of your plastic use, not just the plastic straw. You can do that by following some of the tips that I recommend in my things I stopped buying when I became an environmentalist video. I'm going to link to that one above. So that video has a lot of swaps to get rid of the plastics that you use in your everyday life and to incorporate some more reusable options like reusable stainless steel straws or glass food containers. If all of this makes us think twice about every bit of plastic that we use and we throw away, well then that could be the start of something even more significant. So I'm not actually saying in this video that you should go out and use plastic straws. I'm asking you to look a little bit deeper than the plastic straw problem and to not only say no to plastic straws, but also to say no to plastic one-time single-use plastics in general and to change your lifestyle a little bit to make sure that you're using a lot less plastic. So what do you think about this plastic straw ban? Do you agree with what I'm saying? or do you disagree or have some other points that I didn't mention? Leave a comment below to let me know what you think. Do you want to see me react to other environmental trends going on right now and analyzing whether they are really eco-friendly from the perspective of a scientist? Or do you want me to review some greenwashing ads? Leave a comment below and let me know if you want to see that. There are so many little swaps that you can make to reduce your environmental impact instead of just saying no to these plastic straws and calling it a day. So I hope you guys like this video and thank you for watching. Watching. Make sure to click the next suggested video I'm going to show right here to see more videos like this. So bye. Have you clicked this one yet? I bet you you're going to want to watch it.